Hi Leo, good morning, good afternoon and good evening. So Leo, <laughs> let's see what's happening with you, what messages come through for you Leo. Interesting. Okay. Don't worry about the signs. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Just stay in the reading for five to six minutes. See if the messenger is connecting to you. Otherwise, it's not your message, right? So, Leo. What's happening with you, Leo? Wow. Queen of Swords. Dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. <clears throat> Somebody's cold, agitated. This can be you in a mood to set boundaries, healthy boundaries. There's somebody around you um, who is coming from a tough phase. I see this person has some responsibilities. They're trying to move on from some things. For someone specific, if you're detaching yourself from somebody, this person is trying to move on. Uh, I do see this person, I'm picking up a kind of energy for this person where they have been going through a lot of mental conflict about the situation or you or in general some conflict was there but some some people have the tendency to shut their eyes to the conflict right and they just assume that the conflict isn't there i see for a very long time this person tried doing that right they were just shutting the eyes to the conflict the mental or the whatever kind of conflict was there in their surroundings and they finally um Something is happening here and somebody is getting motivated to make a decision. See, I see somebody is realizing that they will have to make a decision. If not, then you are in the mode to set boundaries. I see you asking questions here. So, Leo, for a lot of you, there is an energy that, you know, I want clarity or you can go your way and I'm going to go my way. That's very specifically I'm picking up and... Somebody is uh, feeling little helpless in the situation, right? We're going to see what's that. Okay, let's see from where you're coming. What's happening with you? Queen of Cups was there under the deck too. I see Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. For some of you, um, Leo, I see you coming from a place where you have been very emotional about a situation lately. And uh, you've been putting your heart into something. I see a lot of emotions here, sitting with a lot of emotions. There have been some intuitive downloads which you're trying to process. There's some inner chi child wound I'm picking up, right? There's something, it's like, you know, there's something on the ground, but you assume a little bit more because there is some inner child thing I'm picking up very strongly here. But anyways, there is a situation which is making you emotional. I see you coming from that place. And finally, you decided to level up and guard yourself against something, right? Page of Swords is a very um, skeptical energy where um, out of emotions, you're realizing that I cannot sit that way and I will have to level up and guard myself. Maybe look for more information. Maybe just find the truth. Page of Swords is inquisitive energy where somebody tries to look... For inquisitive energy where somebody tries to look for answers tries to look for clarity right and i see this is very much uh, something like that and ten of pentacles on the, under the deck somebody's silent there is a connection but somebody is silent somebody's silent about what's happening for some of you i see there's a person who wants a second chance on this love connection but they're silent because of their family condition right we're going to dive in on that you, on the other hand, I feel don't have much knowledge or but much information about this situation, possibly because you're feeling lack of answers and lack of support here. There's somebody here uh, I'm picking up, Leo, I'm sorry, Leo, that uh, did not support you or you just feel abandoned and out and cold because this person is uh, silent let's move forward let's see what is the situation here what's happening for some of you specifically leo males i'm picking up that there is a water sign you are trying to know about this is possibly a soulmate or somebody in love with you and uh, you're trying to know about this person but i see communication gap this person has turned away out of emotions and you want clarity on that what the fuck is happening with you why are you doing this 
but I see no answer. Five of Pentacles, right? I don't really see any conversation, but yes, you're trying to know about this person, where this person is, and what this person is doing. Okay, Leo. Hanged man. Interesting. Magician. Yeah, you cannot stay this way for a very long time. For some of you, I see you realizing in this weekend, you see the major arcanas here. King of Swords. Ooh. So I do see the conflict coming. I do see the conflict coming. Somebody is afraid of some silly thing they have done. Now, be very careful and listen to this. Somebody has um, done something, made a decision, took a leap of faith. I see they were getting an offer or they had an offer. Or they wanted to confess love or you did that, whatever, what, whatever the situation was. For some of you, there was another connection that was brewing in their life. And for some of you, I see somebody made a very careless, less thought of decision. They did something behind your back. And that energy is haunting them now. Nine of Swords. But you know what? It's not easy. It's not easy to just accept sometimes, you know, the ego self, the, what should I say? Yeah, the ego self doesn't just allow to accept some things easily. So King of Swords is showing me this, trying to, this person is trying to defend their position. They have definitely made a very stupid decision in the recent past. And now they're trying to defend it. You, on the other hand, it definitely you both knocking horns here. You are definitely emotional because of this person, but I don't think that you liked what they did, right? You felt abandoned because of this person. In the upcoming week, I see things changing, right? For a moment, you might stay in this energy of, you know, I can see everything, but I cannot do anything about it. Hanged man energy. The universe is pulling you back. Universe is telling you to just settle for a moment. Think. Think about what's happening here. Because till the time you think and you get the clarity and get the downloads and do the introspection and change your perspective, you can't come into the magician mode. That's what is needed here. I do see you leveling up and coming uh, in the magician mode, coming in the manifestation mode. But there are some deep thoughts about this whole situation i see there's lack of clarity and there's darkness in the situation especially because there are people in your surroundings who've been criticizing this whole encounter this whole incident if somebody did not stand up if somebody made a very stupid decision people in your surroundings are criticizing you and this person or maybe you that why are you stuck on this person why are you still thinking about this person why are you still emotional about this person or whatever but magician is showing me that this week some perspective change is coming in and you're taking the charge of the situation. You are going to be the one who's going to decide about the situation, right? Moving forward here, Leo, I want to know where is the situation heading for you? Five of cups here, yeah, four of swords. I see enough of wood shoulds and coulds here. You're realizing that I cannot live in this energy for a very long time. You're taking a break, you're healing, and you're definitely focusing on your future, your future prospects, and your other things here. Somebody is ignorant, not because they, you know, they want you to, sh they want you to feel, they, they want to show you that, yeah, I don't really care, you know, it doesn't matter, it's a small thing. But in reality, this person is struggling, struggling emotionally. They just can't deny this, Leo. They just can't deny this. But the problem is that they're stuck in their decisions. They're stuck in their... For some of you, somebody feels that it's not the divine time for something, right? It's not the right time for something. Somebody's struggling with emotions, but they can't show you that. Possibly because this person feels a lot of people are looking at them. I don't know why this came. But uh, yeah, somebody feels a lot of people are looking at them. At the end, you might simply decide to ignore this whole situation. Six of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, both the cards talk about ignorance. Because you want to shift your focus to something else. I do see wood shoots, codes, and then some introspection and some, some break to think about the situation. But eventually you're deciding to just focus on your work, right? I'm picking up this very strong that you're eventually ignoring all this, right? So moving forward, 
I want to know why is this abandonment here? Something made you very emotional and you felt that somebody did not support you. You're a little agitated about it and you're planning to set boundaries in this situation. This person definitely left you out in cold and past. Six of Pentacles. Interesting. I see you did too much. Here we have Queen of once for some of you i see somebody invested very less in you their investment was very less so the connection was imbalanced because of a third party situation somebody had to make a choice i see queen of wands and lovers and for some of you i'm picking up somebody made a foolish decision to you know instead of leveling up for you and taking a stand for you they just went out and you know keeping both the options in hand and sometimes People are like, okay, it's my life. I need sufficient time to make my decision. I have to pick the right person and so and so, right? I don't want to make a mistake. So they just kept on lingering on. I know it, this is not the right justification. I don't support it. But this is what I'm picking up from this person's energy. And they're still trying to hold on to their point no matter how much they regret doing that. They still want to hold on to their position and show you the stubborn face that, you know, yeah, that was what my decision was. I see a perspective change happening here. Three of Swords. You're accepting that, you know, for, for, for a lot of you, I see it was very hard for you to accept what this person did for a very long time. Maybe I'm, I'm picking up a few weeks energy. Three of Swords. But eventually you're realizing that what's done is done. Right, Three of Swords is showing me that these thoughts are really consuming you. But you're realizing that I cannot stay in this energy for a very long time. So Magician here, Ten of Wands, you're realizing that there is some ins inspiration out there. You need to let go of the baggages. For a lot of you, I see because of a lot of responsibilities or because of a lot of uh, baggage here, you are deciding not to carry something anymore. Strength, yeah. Despite of the disappointment, I see you holding your ground. You're holding your ground and you're willing to bring changes in your life. You're leveling up here. What are these wood shoots and coats for Leo? Nine of Wands, Leo. Very guarded. The moon. Trying to protect something here. Wow, I'm picking up very closed off energy. Four of Pentacles. You don't trust something anymore. You don't trust something anymore here. Somebody has broken your heart or somebody made a decision that has brought you in a very emotional state and you're very disappointed by somebody's behavior, Leo. And for a lot of you, I see enough of wood shoots and codes and, you know, staying in that sad momentum. You definitely are coming out of it, but you're not trusting anybody for now, I'm picking up. Page of Pentacles, okay, interesting. World, Ten of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, sounds like it is over here. Some cycle is over. It's done and dusted. Yeah, this is an ending. Like three cards, they all are pointing towards ending of cycles and new beginnings. Ten of swords, some betrayal here. I, I totally see that hurt, that pain. But you're understanding that this was something that was meant to happen. The wheel of fortune. This was something that was meant to happen. And world is showing me that it's time for new beginnings. It's time for new, new cycles in your life. And you will have to let go of some things here. So what is your equation with this queen of cups or what is this emotional state? Let's see. Passion. You have a very passionate bond with somebody and you, you see this is a very strong connection. But somehow you're feeling that it's a one-sided thing. Abandonment is there. Somehow you're feeling that this is something one-sided or this is something, you know, um... You were doing all the work. You were doing all the investment. You felt that the uh, equation is not balanced here. So you are somehow having some perspective change here. Let's see what's that. True love and kids. Interesting. For some of you, I see you did try to explore other things too. Why I'm saying that? Because I'm picking up. It was a similar energy on both of your part. Right? I see some illusions here. But somehow you're understanding that the connection is real or you have true love for somebody. It's a very deep connection. Release your past. Forgiveness and separation. Leo, it's time to just um, detach yourself from something. There is a strong energy of detaching yourself from something. Leave your passion. Wow. 
I want to get one more on this. Really. I see you definitely parting ways from something. Leo. Definitely. I do see you are going to experience a situation where somebody is going to be asking for forgiveness. You know, um... Let me tell you one thing. I'm picking up a very specific message. I see you have attachment with somebody, but the connection isn't going anywhere for time being, or maybe there's communication gap. Meanwhile, there was a third party situation. I see um, there was a baggage of the past that you were carrying and you decided to do some things out of disappointment. Sometimes, you know, because our current connection is not moving forward or because we're not getting clarity or this communication gap, we tend to um, start talking to people we don't really consider a match or we don't see a future with but just for you know for the sake of uh, talking to somebody and getting some kind of motivation we start talking to other people i see this is some past person and somehow you feel that i see you understanding that you have true love for somebody but you're resisting conversation and meanwhile you're definitely setting boundaries with uh, Something that you need to release here. You're definitely releasing something. Very strong energy of putting a full stop to a cycle in your life. Remember, world, ten of swords, wheel of fortune, separation, forgiveness, and let your release your past. Like, oh, reaching conclusions. Again, this is my ten of swords card in this deck. Not all the cards. It, it, it is not coincidence, Leo. This is a very strong confirmation that uh, there is a cycle that has outlived its purpose in your life and... It's time to detach yourself from that. It's time to let go of that. Because for a lot of you, I see <clears throat> new and healthy things starting in your life. But that can happen only if you let go of your past, right? I see some very king and swords, queen of swords, some very unhealthy ex situation that you have to release, right? So I'll leave you here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.